I've been invited several times into a gathering of Christians. Sometimes it's just a house church, Sunday worship. Sometimes it's just a prayer meeting in a coffee bar, in a restaurant. Sometimes we just gather in a park or uh, in a resort. Every time they invited me to play for them, I would always bring with me my guitar. But the problem is the guitar is too bulky. Recently, I'm bringing with this my uh, Imbongjo Jin Pro Mini. It can fit in my backpack because I'm just, you know, uh, driving my motorcycle. The problem is, this is just a MIDI controller and you need a MIDI player such as your laptop to be able to play piano or organ. Or if you have a MIDI uh, band such as MIDI Plus or from Roland or Yamaha or something like that. And uh, bringing a laptop is, uh, you know, it's too heavy. I don't bring my laptop with me. All you need to be able to play this is your Android phone. So how do we connect an Ojo Oxygen Pro Mini to our Android phone? Let's do this. Okay, so what do we need? Because first, M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini, of course, and uh, the OTG. So this is a Type C for my Type C phone OTG, and the MIDI USB connector, and of course the audio chap for my uh, tiny amplifier. So this is my amplifier from Joya here and uh, so and of course your Android phone so but before that you need to enable the OTG connections in your phone the OTG connection is uh, located at uh, here in my phone this is in additional settings and here the OTG connection is disabled to save a battery so if if you're going to connect this so this is the OTG if you're going to connect this here it's not powering up the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini but if we turn this on the OTG connection and connect our phone that will power up the MOJ Oxygen Pro Mini meaning that the OTG connection will give enough electricity to our MOJ Oxygen Pro Mini so let's open the app that can play uh, that can connect to a MIDI controller. So we have the Band Lab or the FL Studio. So for this time, we're going to use the FL Studio. Okay, so all you have to do is to add an instrument here. And then we're going to add a keyboard. So we're going to select a grand piano here. That's it. So it's already playing, but uh, sometimes we need to have a, a bigger sound, so just connect this audio track to the amplifier. So this is the grand piano. If 
you're going to add a new instrument such as uh, strings, you can also do that. For example, strings in symbol one, that's it. I hope you like it. Just click that subscribe button.